Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to break dependencies or how to remove the ghost feature from the assembly. If you are using the assembly, many times the system will create a ghost feature or ghost model directly in the PDM system, for example Windchill. So I'd like to show you how the system creates this ghost feature or how you can remove this information from the assembly. So try to have a look on this assembly. You can see here that I have a really easy assembly with two components and same information you can see if you select right mouse button information reference viewer. In the reference viewer window there are two options references and dependencies. In the dependence window right now you can see the system use the same two objects like, like from the model tree so everything is fine and over here in the right mouse button you can see the additional info user path you can see here parent child and so on but I like to focus on the dependency yeah so right now I'll show you how the system creates the ghost feature in the PDM system the system remember what you have used in your assembly something like history so for example I'd like to change replace this object so you can select right mouse button and use the function replace and you can see here that right now I like to use unrelated components what does it mean you can change any model to different anyone so for example many times you need to change the standard parts for example something bigger or smaller and so on so right now I will select from the session the model with the name C2 and if I will open it you can edit reference table right now I don't want to focus on the reference table so I, I can re explain to you the later so you can only confirm OK and confirm OK what will be system to do you can see right now I use the second model with name C2 and what's this on the behind of the assembly you can have a look here if I sell right mouse button information and reference viewer window right now in the dependencies filter you can see the new model C2 and original one and old one so over here is some dependencies if you imagine right now I change only one 3d model so it's really easy to, to change a check and use which dependencies is necessary to to break but if you have assembly with for example 1000 objects I don't want to have a look on the every connection and delete it I would like to do it automatically in one step so we can select the main assembly right mouse button and over there is the option break dependencies what is good you can create a, your custom map key for this one and for example in the save mode you can set up remove and break dependency and save model and if you use this one break dependency the system will delete all the reference the system will remove the ghost feature from the PDM system for example windshield save your assembly and check in into database and share information with your colleagues thanks for watching see you later bye bye Vladimir